Wolf FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Braintree away in the National South. Adam, how are you feeling going into this one? Um, yeah, uh, it's going to be a real tough game. Um, you know, on the end of a defeat at their place last year, so we know um, you know what to expect. It's going to be going to be difficult, and we know we're going to have to be our best to, to get anything from it. Um, and yeah, it's it's one that um, we obviously look forward to. We're on a bit of form, but. At the same time, you have to go there with the right mindset, otherwise you don't even get close to getting anything. So, yeah, just that would be the, the message to make sure our mindset's right going into this game. Played them three times last season, came out victors twice, but obviously lost at their place and a, a pretty difficult afternoon for us all told that day. What were your memories from that one? Oh yeah, I think we conceded late on, um, played out and was a bit sloppy with our play and then I think they got a penalty did they smash it shit as his arm I think and as it got sent off late on as well so yeah it was, it was difficult um, you know they was letting us know about the win as well after the game so you got all them sort of factors to, to deal with as well but no yes yeah, it's, uh, it's you know a tough place to go to a good side um, they'll be looking to to get some momentum going for this season and and you know finish similar to what they did last year get into the playoffs again so you know we're under no illusions going there that it's a uh, it's a tough ask um, arguably you know the, the toughest away game so far this season so yeah we, we're um, definitely have to be at our level best and like I say our mindset um, being brave to, to get on the ball um, at the same time you've got to compete at a place like that as well. That's something that's been worked on across the season, something you've been really happy with uh, over the bank holiday weekend is how the boys have played it out, are you comfortable that they're going to be able to do that Saturday? No, yeah, just got to keep on um, drumming the messages in, I think you know we've got Bards and, and Cam that do such a good st uh, stuff with the analysis here and really you know, show the lads some good stuff, some not so good stuff and areas that we can exploit and we can work on and get better on and you know we continuously try to do that and um, you know with that good work that they do um, you know, we're hoping the lads take it on board um, but yeah we're by no means the finished article just yet still lots to our game that we we can improve on and you know we'll be trying to to work on one or two bits tonight and try and implement that again on Saturday. Uh, on Tuesday night there was a behind closed doors friendly, a few of the boys were getting minutes, uh, one person who's getting asked about a lot at the moment is Jake Robinson, how are the recovering boys getting on and how did they get on Tuesday? No, it's brilliant for that, that side of the game, um, you know we uh, lost the game on a day to you know, a very good Premier League outfit, um, but yeah the, the important thing was that um, Kane got more minutes, he's got over an hour now which would be the first time this season I think, even in pre-season, he's played over an hour. Um, Tutty's come through with an hour's minutes. Um, Ollie Pierce was ill at the weekend, managed to get minutes. Liam Vincent played Saturday but not on Monday so he managed to get minutes. Um, you know, Finley Chadwick, Ollie Starkey and like I say Jake Robinson come on for the last half hour. Um, and come through with, with no reactions, no problems. So, yeah, we're hoping he's not too far away now for being involved in the squad and being able to, to feature for us and, and get minutes from the bench um, to start off with. And, you know, similar sort of building phase to, to what Luke has had. Um, so, you know, introduce him from the bench and then, you know, looking to build up towards that first start. Um, but, yeah, it was a really, really good workout. Like I say, all those boys got good minutes under their belt. We also had some of our under 18, Zach uh, Jeans played, he was excellent again. Um, so he's just gonna definitely you know, have a, a big part to play in this season and, and can start pushing Joel at that right back slot there as well. So, you know, that was really encouraging. We had um, Harvey, one of our under 15s this season, managed to get on the pitch and show what he's about as well. So yeah, we finished very young towards the end, um, but you know, that was pleasing as well. Um, you know, a lot of our lads, hopefully, that are coming through our youth setup, will be able to um, get something from it. Playing against the, you know, professionals that are in a Premier League environment, um, so that'd be be great for their confidence, and hopefully, they'll learn from it and and really sh strive on and, and push on this season. Plays really well. And speaking of the boys in the first team, we've got minutes again, particularly Jake and Tutty. Whereabouts do you think they're at? Do you think they could start getting any minutes on Saturday? Yeah. So the 
to come into the squad, available for the squad now. Um, so just got to look at it, obviously, Saturday, Tuesday, whether, um, you know, they're going to be able to feature in both of those. You know, it's, it's maybe a bit too soon for that, but, you know, definitely in, on the right path. Now they've built up and, and got some minutes under the belt, now they can be available for selection. Um, so, yeah, obviously, it's not going to be a case that the lads that are starting are going to gift their shirt over to them. Um, but, yeah, it's down to us to utilise the squad and, and reintroduce them into it when we can. And, you know, with Saturday, Tuesday coming up, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, uh, it's a good opportunity to, to maybe feature a few of those lads in it.